Doing it don't even matter. Battle truth. Battle truth. What's up, bro? It's been, it's been a minute. You know what I'm saying? Since I left you alone, you've been out here doing bullshit again. And you know, uh, you know what my services provide. You know what I do. Anyway, it's come to my attention that um you're out here doing what you do best. And that's uh that's fuck shit. And y'all know when fuck shit happens. Well, takes this way shit to goddamn come clean it up. Cause y'all remember when the earth was fucked up. Yeah, they had to cleanse that bitch. And start fresh. And they used a wave, a flood. Good old God made agua. And look, y'all don't get it fucked up. I'm just a drip in, in, in this wave shit. This is some drip. <laughs> it all got some drip. But nothing more, nothing less. I'm not the leader of wave. I'm not the general. I ain't the boss, but sir, what I am is effective. Let, let me rephrase that. I'm effective as fuck. And I don't like fuck shit. Hmm? What's, what's this fuck shit he did this time, pretty money? What would what, he do this time? First of all, let me say, uh, shout out Jay Black. The whole champion platform. Drea, Dre, what, what the fuck is his name? Dre? Drea? Dre, Anwar, Rita, the white dude that looked like like Remy from Higher Learning. <laughs> Fuck, fucking Malik, fucking monkey. <laughs> but 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 shout out all them boys at, on that platform. A very well respected platform. Well respected to the point to where you call yourself the number one blogger, sir. Have you not looked at J Black stats? If you have it, he's better than you. You be talking shit to Piper Boy? Guess what? He's better than you. But I heard you had some beef with goddamn Vitafly again. You want the good news or the bad news? The good news is you can talk all you want to to Vitafly. He's not going to respond to you. The bad news is he's doing better than you. Now I hear you got a problem with Mav Hoffa's platform. Hey, shout out Mav Hoffa, my expert opinion. Another fire platform. What, what does Mav Hoffa's platform have in common with the other platforms I just named? Hold on, let me. I got that in here. I got that in here somewhere. Where the shit at? Let me see. Oh, here you go. He's better than you. Hey, you, you know what gets me, Malachi? Malachi, Mark, kill yourself. <laughs> That's what you do on a daily basis. But you know what gets me, bro? You always tend to go at. People that you know will A, not respond, or B, you think you can goddamn, you think you can beat. Shout out to D.I. the Henny Man. Ooh, bruh, you're a blogger now. All right, D.I., you a goddamn blogger. And you're a blogger that's better than Battle Truth. So where, where did you come up with this number one shit at? I'm dying to hear this answer. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. Um, I heard you found you a new victim. And, and, and this said victim doesn't really bother anybody. I mean, he, he talks his shit when the alarm goes off and his shit talking time. But as do we all in, in this culture called battle rap. But this said victim doesn't bother anybody. And not only did you take it upon yourself to to volunteer an attack on this man's character. But you also volunteered your little nose in, in this man's relationship. I'm talking about none other than Battle Rap's power couple, Anwar and Rita. First of all, shout out Anwar. Shout out Rita. Y'all love Battle Rap, and for that, we love y'all. But Mr. Holier Than Thou, Christian Man Malachi. 
thought it would be a good idea to to come in like a little snake that you are and, and break up a happy home. Told that man you was finna take his girl. To, uh, take her where, Battle Truth? Up the Empire State Building to the goddamn top? King Kong teeth? Hey, bro, look, this is this is a serious-ass question. Um, do the mirrors work in your house? Like, like, nigga, have, have you looked at yourself? You Mr. Mr. Lover Man. Malachi Shaba Ranks Marquillis. I, I can't even call you Shaba Ranks, because Shaba Ranks actually used to get bitches. Battle truth, I have never, not, not one time, ever seen a, a female hop in your comments say, saying anything flirtatious sexual thirsty thotty anything like this nigga think he got damn Blair Underwood or some shit or uh, Blair Underwood that, that can sing S swears he's a ladies man swears he can, can sing thinks he's the best blogger calls himself the king of of roasting? Yeah, bro, that's a whole duffel bag of delusions, homie. But on some real shit, bro, and this might hurt your feelings a little bit. I, I, I gotta keep it skunk butt funky on this one. Battle, battle truth, you, you not dope, bro. Your, your blogs are, are trash. Your, your, your face is horrific. I, I can't get over that, man. Like it's a, it's a few of y'all out there. That remember him comparing himself to to Blair Underwood. He, he called himself a Blair Underwood that can sing. Y your voice, y your voice, sounds like your name should be Blair Underwater. You'll crumble up notebook paper, put it deep in your throat, and let it sit there. But before you sing. Battle truth. I'm not trying to be mean, bro. I'm telling you the God honest truth. Because your subscribers, your followers, they won't. They, 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 they won't. I, I'm starting to question their taste in dope. And, and I know for a fact you have zero taste in, in dope. I, I, don't, I don't think this nigga has taste at all. Damn, now that I think about it, nigga, you ain't got taste in nothing. Your goddamn tongue don't work. Y'all heard this man talk. You talk and sing like somebody tased your goddamn tongue. Like that, that nasally, whiny, screechy, cracky as fuck voice that you have will never, ever be accepted amongst professional music makers. Any, any professional label will tell you, get the fuck out their office. Your, your second note, they might call security on your ass. Like, right, like right now, I, I'm dying to know what somebody like Simon Cowell, R Randy Jackson, Katy Perry, CeeLo Green, Pharrell, Adam Levine, any person that was ever a judge on one of these televised singing competitions. American Idol, X Factor, America Got Talent, the voice, like you, you, you name it. I, I, I would, I would really want to know what they would, would say about your your singing voice. Again, battle truth. I'm not trying to be mean. I, I'm trying to be me, and me don't like that shit. Shout out, Mister Wavy. Me no like. Hey, you know what give me the most battle truth is if you were to go on one of these shows. Or audition they'll, they'll give you their honest feedback of what they thought if the feedback is when the feedback is negative your delusional narcissistic dunning kruger having ass is gonna call them niggas haters you're gonna tell them they don't know what they're talking about guess what battle truth guess what bruh a bird with the word came to me and that bird told me that that duck, Battle Truth, went and auditioned 
and in front of those set judges. Hey, BRC, check this out. What if I told you I have footage of Battle Truth's audition? Huh? Huh, Snaggle Truth? What, what, what if I told you I got that footage, bro? Welcome to X Factor Auditions, Milwaukee, Wisconsin edition. Today we have our very own Malachi Decimus Maximus Meridius. Let's see how he does in front of four professional judges. Chased in teardrop days, yeah. Okay, first of all, nigga, it's chasing, not chastings. Yeah, you just pissed me off. But, but, but proceed. I was cold as ice long ago. Reader, reader. I wasn't very, very, very nice, you know. Reader, reader. Didn't I kiss your lips and you turned on my fire? <coughs> Baby. And you burned me up with that flame. Took me a little higher, baby. Made me feel again. I've never heard anything like that before. She know what's up. She know what's up. No. Act dumb if you want to. It was like you'd swallowed a load of people and they're all screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, un unbelievable. No, thanks. Yeah. No. I don't think it's for you, babe. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I don't care. Shut up! I know the video's fake. But nigga, the shit got bullseye accuracy. That's a spot on analogy, nigga. I think that's exactly what would have happened. Well, not exactly, because after your second note, they would have stopped your ass. I let you sing too much. So yeah, I I'm going to say that was probably the fakest part of the video. Because Simon Cowell and company would not let you stand on stage that long with that voice. Don't believe me, Battle Truth? Hmm? You, you truly think that you are the shit? When it comes to your R and B, the R stand for ratchet as hell, and the B stand for bullshit as fuck. But all jokes aside, bro, I would love to see you submit some of your work to to a professional. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna tell you your voice sounds like you ate a chalkboard and drunk some nails, nigga. You trash as hell, nigga. And, and you smell, nigga. I've never seen you leave your house. You like a snail, nigga. And on the 1st and the 15th, you get a I'm special as hell check in the mail, nigga. He's trash and speech class, he failed, nigga. But all jokes aside, Battle Truth, I really want you to submit your work to a professional. Because you, you don't believe us. You you call us haters. We, we, we be hating on you. Which can... Come on, a little confession. Um, I hate that shit. Can, can, can I say that, YouTube? Would that be considered hate speech? If I hate a nigga speech? Damn. Sound like a catch-22 to me. Anyway, y'all hop in the comments talking shit. Uh, y'all press subscribe. The ones that have not. You know, notification gang, all that good shit. Uh, like button is always appreciated. You know the rules. If you don't like it, press the fucking like button anyway. And then holla at your boy. Oh, real quick before I go. Um, I got a little, a little project in the works. And y'all know me being the businessman that I am. I got to try to grow this brand. Because if I don't, ain't nobody going to know this brand. And we just ain't having that, y'all. So, yes, your boy Pretty Money starting to take this shit serious as fuck. I got my kids super situated. I'm talking about my niggas so sharp, they could probably represent themselves in court. Don't do it, kids. 
My babies. Don't don't ever do that shit. Call me so I can call them. You know what I'm talking about? You know who they are. But yes, be on the lookout for this brand I'm about to crank up. <laughs> of course, it's going to be some spoo funny shit. Y'all know me. I don't take nothing serious except for my dollars. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm about to start releasing some of these ideas via Twitter. So look, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitter at P-R-I-T-T-Y underscore M-O-N-E-Y, all lowercase. And I'm going to start pushing some, some ideas towards you. And y'all know all I want from y'all is a yay or nay. And then look, believe me when I tell y'all this shit. My designs will be way better than that real under here bullshit. And again, not to hate uh, Malachi Mar kill yourself. Um, I can't. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit is whack as fuck. I, and I want to say it's whack as fuck to me, but I've never, ever seen anyone wear your bullshit real under here certified gear. Matter of fact, I think a few people try to order those shirts, but but they didn't get their shirts or. Some, some crazy shit. I know you made DME wait a whole hour. A whole hour. Shout out DME. J Legend. Visual. The whole union. Sh shit. Shout out Snake Eyes. For fucking that bar up. <laughs> but, but fuck all that. I'm going to throw some designs out there. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. Because I already have one in mind. I think y'all are going to fuck with it. Not going to get like too much in detail. Because I know a lot of y'all niggas be biting like shit. But I know the game, and I'm actually flattered that niggas will try to copy my swag. You know what I'm saying? Again, it don't just be my swag, y'all. Like, y'all niggas be biting off the way. But, hey, uh, I get that, too. You know what I'm saying? My, my squad is by far the dopest squad in battle rap. And if any of y'all disagree with me, it's because you're stupid and you don't know anything. And with that being said, now you can holler at your boy. We too lean. We too fly like a spaceship, hard like a rocket. It's over a ball corner pocket. It's for all you bloggers who are not sick. We got a rock and we in we front like a monster. Hey, how you doing? It don't even matter. Pretty money, wave gang. Keep it popping, cut the chatter. Hey, try to ride on me. You getting clown because the wave game gon' hold your boy down. We too Hey, how you doing? It don't even matter. Pretty money, wave gang, keep it popping, cut the chatter. Hey, try to ride on me, you get clown, cause the wave gang gon' hold your boy down. Like button should be pressed. R regardless, remember, we talked about this. No matter what, press the like. And since we in a button pressing move, you need to press the subscribe button, the notification bell, and, uh, man, what else I forget? That's it. Comment. Uh, press the like button. Say that. Say, say subscribe. Don't forget the subscribe button. Uh, notification bell. I think we covered that. Oh yeah. Uh, your boy. We got wave.